Hey guys, Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. Today in this quick tutorial, I'm just going to be going over how to fracture something within Cinema 4D to bring it into Element 3D within After Effects because a lot of you guys have been asking me how do you fracture or pre-fracture an object or a model so that you can use it in After Effects and Element just like how Andrew Kramer does it. And so I'm going to show you one way or the way that I did it. And um, you know, there are a lot of ways to do it, but uh, I'll show you my way. So here I am in Cinema 4D here, and I have a, I guess, pre-fractured MoGraph text here. And as you can see, uh, it's pretty uh, sliced up and uh, fractured pretty well here. A lot of pieces here. And then we can bring this into Element and shatter it up and create a nice little animation with it uh, in Element. So let's just take a look at how to fracture this thing up. So we're going to delete all this. And you can use a model or you can use a mo type or whatever you want. But uh, in this demonstration, I'll be using a MoGraph mo text. So let's go to MoGraph and select mo text. And uh, we'll go to the uh, regular shading here. And uh, we'll go into the objects. We'll type in our text. I'm going to type in Dojo. And uh, usually for these kind of shattering, uh, fractured stuff, I like to use, use a really nice, big, uh, thick font here. So maybe like this font here. And then we'll increase the depths to we have a thicker extrusion, something like that. And we can go into the align here and set the align from left to middle, just so we have the uh, I guess the anchor point in the middle here, just like that. And uh, you know, let's go ahead and add some fillet caps here. So we'll add a fillet cap, maybe make it three for the radius. You know, just something a little bit interesting. And um, you know, we'll go ahead and apply material to this mo type just so we have a placeholder material here. So once you've made your 3D object and your 3D object or your mode type or 3D text is ready to be fractured, uh, let's go ahead and proceed to fracture this thing up. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be using a free plugin called Throssy by Nitro4D. And again, it's a free plugin. All the links, it will be in the article down below where you can download it and install it. But again, I'll be using Throssy in this tutorial. So we'll go into the plugins menu here and go to Throssy and select Throssy here. And we'll get this little Throssy panel. Now the first thing I want to do is select our actual object here. So I'm going to select our mode type in this example, our mode text. And then I'm going to go back into Throssy here and set the number of pieces. I like to set mine generally kind of high so I have a lot more pieces. So around 150 to 200 it kind of works best for me. And now we'll keep all the settings by default and we'll just hit break now. So as you can see, our plugin will start to fracture up and kind of splice up and shatter up our, our object here. And there are so many ways to do this. I mean, there are so many uh, third-party plugins to do this. And you can even do it manually, but Throssy works pretty well for a free uh, plugin alternative here. So check that out. So once it's done, you should get a few uh, fractured objects here. And if we go into the display, we can go into the hidden lines or something like that. You can see that we have our object here pretty nicely sliced up and uh, fractured and ready to be used in element here. So I'm just going to select all of our layers here and I'm going to go right click and set it as a group. So group objects. So it's kind of in one little group uh, for easier organization here. We'll call this one Dojo. And once we have that done, we'll go ahead and save the Cinema 4D file because Element 3D can actually read uh, Cinema 4D files here. So go to File, we'll go to Save As. And um, we will name this project file Dojo Fractured. Hit save. And now we're ready to move into After Effects and just take a look at how this thing works. So we'll get out of Cinema here. We'll go hop into After Effects. We'll create a new composition. Let's go ahead and apply a uh, layer and apply element to this layer here. So Video Copilot Element. And then we'll go into the scene setup and we'll go into Import. And go ahead and select your fractured project file from Cinema 4D here. So in my case, Dojo Fracture.Cinema 4D file. And uh, we'll just import it, wait for it to load. There's a lot of pieces and stuff like that, so it may take a little while here. So now we have our object here in Element, and it's a little bit backwards here. So we'll go into the orientation, and we'll set it to 180 degrees. And that should uh, flip it nicely. And uh, we can go into the presets here and apply a... Um, I guess a texture to this thing. Now you can apply your own textures in, in Cinema 4D. I mean, there's a whole bunch of tutorials for that. But um, in this case, I just want to focus on the fractured stuff here. So I'll just apply a, uh, I guess, glass crack texture to our text, something like that, and uh, we'll hit OK. And that's just going to give us our fractured text in Element here. 
And if you want to shatter this thing out, we can go into group one because that's where our faster text is group two and group one. And uh, we'll go into the particle look. We'll go into multi object here and we'll enable multi objects so that element can control the little individual elements or multiple objects in this uh, text here, this faster text. And now that we have that selected, we can control the individual particles by you know, changing the rotation here. So we'll increase the rotation at random. And you can see that we have our nice fractured shattered object here. And we can even displace it in the Z and then maybe scatter it in Z as well. And just you know play around with it and you can create some pretty nice interesting animations using this stuff here. And as you can see, we can get a pretty interesting uh, look with our fractured text here. Uh, we can even increase the size randomness to give it more variation in chunks. And uh, you know, we'll just go ahead and display this even more. Just go in here, mess around. And you can create a pretty interesting look. And of course, this is all animatable, so you can uh, create like a, I guess, a text explosion where the text shatters up and stuff like that. You know, I'm not really going to be focusing on the visual aspects of all this right now in the tutorial. I may do a tutorial later on about you know creating a really nice animation using some fractured objects in Element if you guys want it. So if you guys want it, let me know. But this has just been a really quick tutorial on how to fracture something and prepare it in Cinema 4D so you can use it within Element. So quick tutorial here. There'll be more information in the article down below, so check that out. So once again, my name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.